Um, if you'd like to do it again, you can do it as many times as you want. Um, just come when you come out through the exit, which is actually down that way. You'll come back up to the tent, and then let us know that you want to go back through. We'll let you back in. Okay. Okay. And let me. doing good how are you I'm good thank you welcome to brick life ocean uh before you guys get started on your on your journey i just wanted to give you a couple of quick heads up on things so that you can make the most out of your experience so today you're going to be acting like leonardo da vinci you're going to be thinking like an artist a scientist and an engineer so throughout the exhibit put all kinds of signs up that give you questions that you can talk to yourselves about you're not required to answer them, we're not going to touch you at the end or anything like that. But it's just food for thought if you go to the exhibit. So you can come into all three of those fields in our Brick Life Ocean exhibits. They are feats of engineering, they are designed to be outside all the time. They are outside when it is raining, when it is storming, when it is windy. They do not come in, they weigh a ton. But they withstand. All of the storms, we don't have to rebuild them or anything after they're done because they have been engineered to be outside. So they're pretty awesome. Also, we have one of the things I'd like to call your attention to is when you're looking at these guys, look for, first off, when you see a color, see how many shades of that color there are. If you look here, it's gray, but if you actually look closer, there's multiple shades of gray going on in there. So anytime you see one, what looks like one color, get a little closer and see if you can make out multiple colors. Another thing that's cool is unexpected color. Like you look down here, you've got some gold underneath. There's gold underneath this tin here. Because when he's jumping out of the water, his skin is wet, the sunlight is going to hit it. And so the artist put some reflections of that in his chin and also a little bit on the fin, too. If you look back there, there's some white back there. So when you're going to the exhibit today, just have a look. We do recommend at least two loops through because that'll help you see everything. Because if you look at it now, then you'll come back and notice me details and there's lots of hidden details in these guys. As you go through the exhibit, we have a couple of education stations that you can visit. Okay, on the, Around the corner, we have um, our education station that has our uh, ocean animals from our marine tank inside. We brought a couple of live animals out for you guys to see. We also have some animal artifacts. The bathrooms are also right inside the building around that, that corner. And then when you go all the way around to station three, we have an ocean chemistry experiment that shows you how carbon impacts the oceans and green life that lives in um, So have a wonderful time. Enjoy the exhibit. Let us know if you have any questions and uh, enjoy. Yeah, thank, you, thank you so you much. Today. You'll see this one, its conservation status is least concerned. That's good. That means it's healthy in the environment. When you get around to the far side, you'll see an animal called a vaquita. The vaquita is a very, very tiny dolphin that lives on the Baja California. And they think there's like 10 to 20 of them left in the wild. Oh. Total. So they're extremely endangered. So this dolphin is, is doing well, but that one not so much. And a lot of our animals in our exhibit are not doing as well as our dolphin friends are. Okay. Yeah.
Up to 39 feet long, so that's around like more than four of these stacked on top of each other. If you want to like think about it that way, yeah, yeah, wow, they're pretty huge. Wow, <laughs> 300 hours to build. Thank you. 
Thank you. 